Sometimes, I'm occasionally reminded that I'm not just a man. I'm sometimes not considered to even be a real man. Less than a man. More than a dog, but less than a man. Should I be proud of this? No. Apparently in the mind of a few old-fashioned citizens, their rights still aren't my rights. It doesn't matter that there are legalized, fought for, bled over documents to prove that my hand is equal to theirs. One time, one time on this side. Alright. Found and gagged, I wanted made it through without dad. But still I feel like coughing up this blood that I got. Not cause of him, my mom's lost a lot cause of him. For real I feel like busting off a shot cause of him. It's been so hard, don't know how I pretend so hard. That life don't hurt my nigga, but I went so far. See eye to eye, you know I got to laugh, not to cry. I got to keep on smiling so I won't wanna die. Ooh, and don't you know I'm constipating to put it on these against why they constantly hate so foul they fake it. And why they trying to take me away, planning to break it. Don't they even realize whose child they taking? Child of God, receiving more than rounds of applause. As you can see, I know it more than prepared to show it. You can gather my adversaries and my opponents, but I tell you this one thing, they better not blow it. Talk is cheap, so keep your heat at least sweet and street sweep the deep so they can sow what they breathe. Front line, no lie, see eye to eye. Remember all the things that you had to die? Remember all them sacrifices for you and I? For some reason, I thought our nation's society has moved on from the immaturity of racial stereotypes and slurs and has possibly become this wonderful place where I, a man, can be a man. An equal man. Not a man strapped down by ancestry labels and pretenses. Not a man whose racial background automatically places him in a category of laziness, drug addict, stupidity, dangerous, or thug. the kid drooling on the desk next to mine in first grade. I did though realize after a few years of maturing that I was different. Well, I was different because of my mind, not my skin. My determination, not my family's integration. My heart, not my roots. For a moment, let's imagine that the human race consisted of green, leaf-growing trees, instead of five-fingered, five-toed, warm-blooded mammals. Now, what does it take to be a tree? Because there are so many different kinds, but don't they all do the same thing? They may consist of different qualities, different attributes such as height, width, habitat, but their purpose, their job, they're all the same. Let your roots really spread out in this fresh soil for a little longer. Can a tree choose where it is planted? Does it have the option? I've seen trees spring out of solid stone, rock hard stone. And then I've seen trees die in fresh soil after being nurtured and watered by hand daily. Not all trees grow. Not all trees have an opportunity to grow. It's no longer about where the tree is planted or whether it's lucky enough to receive first-hand nourishment. Like that little sapling that found itself wedged in a dark, tight crevice. A person can either choose to focus on where they are, accepting their fate, staying and dying where they are planted, or they can choose to focus on that little ray of light creeping through a crack barely big enough to squeeze through, let alone grow in. Never let obstacles, I'll call them weeds, keep you from growing. My father once told me that because I'm a black young man, I was going to have to work twice as hard as my more fortunate white brothers in order to surmount to something, to make it in life. Man, I really wish that wasn't true. 
but it is. But even the largest redwood trees starting out as an unprotected seed had to avoid the weeds in order to grow. Everyone, every person, every individual has his or her own weeds. Some are noticeably defined. Others are very well hidden, unknown, or undiscovered. But everyone has one. Every person of every racial background and nationality has weeds. In that instance, we are all the same. Now with God's help, if we continue to grow, then we rise and we are different. Don't let where you are planted keep you from growing or the weeds of this life choke you dry before you have a chance to be a massive redwood tree. Be more than what people say you are. Be what God has planned for you to be before it's too late.